Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to talk to you about what that number on the top of a fraction tells us. So if you have a fraction like 3 over 4, that number on top, we're actually going to give it a name that's called the numerator, all right? And the numerator tells us what part of a whole we're talking about. So we always want to look at, at a fraction as a part of a whole. So the 3 is the part and the 4 is the whole. So if I take a rectangle, for example, and I split it into four equal parts, so they always have to be equal parts. This is my whole, right? Because it's made up of four parts. Three is part of it. I'm gonna shade in three of these parts, okay? So three-fourths is kind of represented by this picture right here. It tells me that there's three parts of the four being taken up, okay? If you have, let's say, um, 80 out of 100, let's say that's your score in your test, 80%, right? That means there's 100 possible points, that's the total and you got 80. So 80 is the part of 100 that you got. So you always want to look at it as a part of a whole. And that is what the top number in a fraction means.